All right. Here is such a nice uh, looking tricky Olympiad problem. If you want to solve this problem, please pause the video because I'm going to solve this problem right now. So welcome to another video on Prime Logic. So the problem setup is pretty much simple. So we have a right angle triangle here with a side such that, so one side is n, the other side is n squared, and the hypotenuse is n cubed. So what is the value of n? So the only thing, the only approach with which we can uh, solve this problem is this famous Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras, the hypotenuse squared equals uh, the sum of both sides squared. So n squared plus n squared squared. So let's just write it down. n cubed squared it is, so n to the six, right? Because when it becomes squared, we can just merge and smash the exponents and multiply them together. So n to the six, which is the hypotenuse squared equals n squared squared, which is n to the four, according to this uh, exponents rule plus n squared. So let's just write it down here for those of you who kind of got confused where this six came from. So n cubed is the value of this hypotenuse. So when we raise it to the power of two, according to the laws of the exponents, we can just multiply them together. So we can uh, write it as, so n to the three times two or n to the two to the power of three or in other words, n to the six. So this is this famous exponents rule. So now that we found, so this is the equation. Now let's just try to solve it for n. So let's divide each term by uh, n squared. So n to the six divided by n squared equals, okay, so we don't need this equal sign here. So n to the four divided by n squared and then n squared divided by n squared. So now based on another properties of Exponents, the bases are the same. We can subtract the exponents. So six minus two, it is four. And then four minus two is two. So n squared, and these two terms are the same. So it is just one. So now it is, it got a little bit more simple. Now I think we can calculate for n. So in this type of equations, you can just, create another variable and let's assume. So let's let's just assume, for example, n squared equals x. So this is our assumption. Then we can say that, okay, so n to the four, it is n squared to the two or x squared as the first term. And then n to the two or n squared equals x then plus one. So now it's the simplified version of this equation. Now, okay, so voila, that's easy now. So we have a quadratic, classic quadratic equation. So we're solving the quadratic equation. We need to calculate. So for, for example, let's go with the delta formula, right? So x equals, but we need to put it all in the one side. So x squared minus x minus one equals zero. So this is the simplified form. We put it all in one side. So x equals minus b. So this term is b. Minus b is positive 1. Plus minus square root of delta, which is the discriminant. So discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So b squared, this term is b. So minus 1 squared is just 1. Uh, minus 4a is just 1. a and c is minus 1. So minus 4 minus 1 is plus 4. And then it is all divided by 2a. So 2a is 2 times 1, which is just 2. 
So let's just simplify plus one or one plus minus square root of uh, five over two a or just two. So because a is so that's the answer, but that's the, the two roots of x. But let's just consider one fact. So we are in a in geometry realm, right? So square root of five is more than two, right? It is more than two, two something. So one minus two, it becomes negative and the whole fraction becomes negative, but we know that it's not possible because we are in the geometry realm, the side length must be positive. So we just accept the positive root. So one more time, just the positive x, the positive root is, is acceptable for our geometry problem. So the final x, the correct value is one plus root five over two, but that's not the final answer because based on our assumption, so we assumed that n squared, but we need to find n, right? So n squared equals x, in other words, n equals roots of this thing. So let's just, put it under the roots or radical sign. So one plus root five over two, and this is the answer. So we just accepted the positive one, right? Because the negative n is not acceptable. That's the final answer. n equals square root of one plus root five over two. And if you calculate it, it is approximately one point two seven two i guess so that's gonna wrap it up for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to drop your thoughts and answers in the comments below if there is any other way with which we can solve this one and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you on our next video on prime logic